feels like a real betrayal to have students to know that to know that students feel this way. Students and other protesters gathered at North Dakota State University campus today to make their voices heard as the school confirms it's investigating multiple potential hate speech incidents involving students. Valley News Team's Devin Fry joins us live from the campus with the very latest. Devin? Mike, we're on campus outside of the school's Old Main Administrative Building where the protest came to an end just hours ago. They started in front of the Memorial Union and walked around campus for hours and ended here. We were able to follow the protest from start to finish where we learned it's not just students who are outraged. Hundreds of students and other protesters gathered on the NDSU campus to make their voices heard after a student-run racist group chat was made known to the public on social media. The university also confirmed two more alleged hate speech incidents being investigated on campus. The organizers of the protest were thrilled to see such a massive turnout. It's so heartwarming. Like I did not think this many people were going to come out, and it just means a lot to me that this many people care about the cause. So thanks to everybody who showed up and everybody who's supporting from wherever you are. The protesters were mainly chanting for accountability on behalf of the school and the students. They also want reforms to the way these kind of incidents are handled after learning that officials within the school knew about the group chat in the beginning of November and has only recently become known to the public. 15 days ago, many of us did not know what happened, yeah. but 30 days ago, the administration did. Yeah. Yeah. One man who marched alongside the protesters is also a professor here at NDSU and told us that he feels a sense of betrayal. It's exceptionally hurtful when the president is so late to respond to it. As a person who goes into the classroom and teaches these kids, you know, it feels like a betrayal to know that if I got a classroom full of 200 people, maybe five of them have a nasty TikTok account or a nasty Snapchat account. He hopes that this type of demonstration will get the school administration to listen. This is the right way. We have to try something. This is the right way to start. Protesters are going to be back here at NDSU again at the same time tomorrow, except this time they're going to be protesting outside of the president's house. We're going to keep checking in on the situation, but for right now from the NDSU campus, Devin Fry, Valley News Live. Thanks, Devin. And for the latest developments of NDSU's campus and what's going on, be sure to download the VNL News app and click on this story.